thank you, Mr. President. As, uh, as I was telling the Prime Minister and the Speaker today, uh, I consider you among one of the uh, fewer than a handful of men in the world who possess uh, not just great experience, but genuine wisdom. And you know, and I say to your friends and to the press here, that I've always sought it. I've sought it over the past 40 years, uh, and I mean that sincerely. Mr. Sullivan and I, my National Security Advisor, in the way back from the Sharon Ranch, were talking about, he, was ra he raised the point that you may be the most eloquent and articulate man he's ever heard. Um, and I pointed out that not only are you eloquent and articulate, but you possess great wisdom. President Obama wanted me to be here today, not merely, but primarily to pay our respects to, uh, to a great war hero, but a man whose life seemed to, uh, from my perspective at least, uh, mirror the changes that occurred in, in, in Israel since uh, its inception as a nation state. At the very outset, the overwhelming necessity was literally to keep from being pushed into the sea by hostile neighbors that were more powerful and, uh, and uh, had larger armies and uh, more weapons. And uh, he, uh, he led the fight and uh, changed the circumstance where Israel is no longer uh, in physical jeopardy as a consequence of uh, being overwhelmed. Israel is a significant uh, power in its own right. And, uh, but as that changed, it seemed to me as though uh, 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 former Prime Minister Sharon uh, not changed, but changed his focus. Uh, when I said today that uh, one of the last utterances he made, uh, m major statements, was he wanted to work on peace, God only knows what would have happened had the last eight years been one where he was still in that vineyard mm -hmm. working for peace. I think it reflects a change in, in, in the region, the need to, the understanding that Israel's ultimate security rests in. Um, a genuine accommodation with the Palestinians is born out of secure borders, but peaceful. Um, and, uh, you know, I was saying earlier, uh, Mr. President, that uh, the Arab Spring is an incredible historical phenomenon. But I think our grandchildren and great-grandchildren are going to look back on it and say, why did they think they could manage it? Uh, it has a life of its own, and uh, we can only hope to be wise enough to, uh, to uh, help steer it in the right direction. But the one place where there's a possibility for an island of stability, quite frankly, is what you said, and that is between the Palestinian people and the Israeli people in two secure states respecting one another's sovereignty and security. And, uh, the President believes, and I believe, uh, this is a uh, one of those opportunities, one of those moments in history where it has to be seized. As you know, my friend, and he is my close, close friend for a long time, John Kerry, is passionate about, uh, about uh, creating and trying to help accommodate that outcome. Um, and there are difficult decisions. They're going to be very difficult decisions. Um, and I, like you, believe that the Prime Minister is up to it. Um, it's not easy. None of this is easy. And uh, let, let me say uh, one last thing, uh, Mr. President. Uh, I said to you privately, we're waiting for the actual burial, that um, it is truly remarkable that, uh, from my perspective, God blessed this great country at its inception with such a group of exceptional men and women, exceptional leaders, 
It seems as though uh, if you look at your generation of leaders, uh, from Ben-Gurion uh, uh, to many who I've gotten to know, I knew from Golda Meir to Rabin to, uh, I'm, to all of the men and women who were, as they say, to steal a phrase from a book written in the United States, present at the creation. Um, by the initial, by was, yes, exactly right. And uh, it was, uh, um, and so part of it was to, uh, to even though you, all of you had uh, different political points of view, you were all absolutely convicted about the necessity for there to be uh, a nation state of Israel as the ultimate security for Jews around the world. I still believe that to be the case. And uh, I think and I'm convinced that all your life's work has been leading to this moment. And God willing, um, it'll be able to be seized. God willing, the uh, um, uh, Abu Mazen will, uh, will be up to the task because he's got to make some very difficult decisions. So I'm looking forward to having a chance uh, when we can sit alone to, uh, to, um, to plumb your, the depths of your knowledge about how you see things actually unfolding in a, in a detailed basis. But let me conclude by saying, uh, and I've said this many, many times, it's an honor to be with you. And you're one of those men who every time I meet with, I learn something. And, uh, and I, I appreciate that. And uh, so and I'm, uh, I'm anxious for us to be able to have a discussion. Thank you. It's not actually.